What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to be showing you how to update to Apple's latest major iOS release, iOS 14. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing some important tips that you need to know before updating your iPhone, iPad or iPod touch to this latest version and time is of the essence. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into these tips. So the first thing you guys need to do is make sure that your device is compatible with iOS 14. And this year it's very easy. If your device could run iOS 13, you can run iOS 14. So I have my iPhone 8 plus here and you can see I am currently running iOS 13.7. That means that I can also run iOS 14. So very simple this year. If your device could run iOS 13, you can install iOS 14 today. The next thing you guys want to do is make sure that you have a backup of all of your data. So I would recommend using iCloud for this. You can use iTunes, a backup on the computer. It's safe as well. But if you do not have a computer or if you just want to do it the easy way, just go into your settings and click on your name up top right here. Go to iCloud. Then you want to make sure that these are all toggled on or at least whatever you want to back up. You want to make sure is toggled on and then you want to go down to iCloud backup right here. Make sure that is turned on as well. Then you want to go ahead and back up now. And if you don't have enough space for a backup, if your iCloud is almost full, you should just go ahead into manage storage right here and see if there's anything that you can delete. A lot of times there are old backups that you can delete. So you can see here, my backups take up 59 gigabytes. You could just go into there and obviously yours might be smaller or larger than mine. And you can go in here and delete old backups to free up some of your iCloud storage space so that you can back up your device before updating to iOS 14. And again, if you have a computer, and you want to be really safe, you can also back up your device physically to iTunes. Now, speaking of storage space, the next thing you guys want to do is make sure that you have enough on device storage space to install this update. So go to your settings, go to general, go down to iPhone storage, and you want to make sure you have, let's just say eight to 10 gigabytes to be safe of available space. And if you don't have that, I would delete a couple of things until you get about, I would say eight gigabytes minimum of storage space. That's just to be safe and to have a device that's not laggy and, you know, always warning you about having low storage. So you can go in here and delete some of the things or maybe offload some of the applications. So like if I don't play PUBG very much, I could just offload the application and boom, that will save me, you know, almost three gigabytes of space. And this tip is mainly geared towards those with 32 or 64 gigabyte devices. I have a 64 gigabyte device here. So you can see my, you know, storage is more than halfway full. And that's usually the case for most people with a 32 or 64 gigabyte device. So just go into here and make sure you have enough storage space before you install the iOS 14 updates. All right, so after you've made sure that your device is compatible, after you've backed up your data via iCloud, and after you've made sure that you have enough storage space to download and install the update, go ahead over to settings, general software update, and you should see iOS 14 populate right here. And if you want to see all of the new features and changes in iOS 14, I did just make a video showing over a hundred new features and changes in this update. So that will be linked up in the cards above and down in the description below. If you want to see all of the new features and changes coming to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod touch. So anyways, once you see the iOS 14 update populate right here, you just want to go ahead and click on download and install and put in your password. And then you will have to agree to the terms of service right here. And also, so I would recommend that you are connected to a power source. So you can see that the process here for me is going to take about 16 minutes, but this could be longer or shorter depending on your Wi-Fi speeds. All right. So after downloading the update and preparing update for a while, we now have the install now button. So let's go ahead and click on install now and it will verify the update and then reboot your device. And it will take about 10 minutes or so to install iOS 14. All right. So once we get back, you will see it says your iPhone has updated to iOS 14.0 and we have to enter in our password right here. And then you're officially on iOS 14. So you can see we have the app library over here. We can add widgets to our home screen by simply tapping and holding. And it gives you a little prompt there. It says edit home screens. Tap the little plus up in the top right or left depending on your device. And you can add all these widgets to your home page now as you can see right there. And of course I did go over all the new features and changes in another video. So definitely go ahead and check that out if you wanna know all of the new features and changes in iOS 14. And let's just go ahead and change our wallpaper now since we are on iOS 14. Let's go to wallpaper, choose new wallpaper, stills, and you can see these new wallpapers up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one right here. It looks pretty good. 
We'll do it for both. And there we go. We do have our new wallpaper here on iOS 14, which looks really, really clean. But there you have it, guys. That is how you update to iOS 14 and some tips that you need to follow before installing iOS 14 on your device. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, make sure you guys do subscribe for a lot more iOS 14 content to come. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Enjoy iOS 14, and I'll see you soon.